Today on our 2009 Toyota Corolla, we're going to take a look at and then show you how to install the Kurt Custom Fit Class 1 Trailer Hitch Receiver. This offers the inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening. Its part number is C11265. Here's what our hitch is going to look like installed on the vehicle. As you can see, we're going to have that round tube that we'll be able to see all the way across side to side. Here in the center, that's our receiver tube opening. It's an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. The reinforcement collar around the end there, you can see that's flush. I particularly like that look. Our safety chain connection points are a plate style steel here. Nice and large and open. I don't think we'll have any issues connecting whatever safety chain devices we might have or whatever size our hooks are should go in there without any kind of a problem. You'll see our half inch diameter pinhole here on the side. That's for securing all of our gear, whether it's a ball mount, bike rack, whatever you're going to be using. Now we've got room here. Looks like pins and clips are going to work fine. Anti-rattle devices should work fine. Locking hitch pins should be fine. Just stay with something, of course, rated for class one, but also with a, with a smaller diameter. We don't want it to be too big around. We might have a little interference there. And when it comes to towing, we're going to have a 200 pound tongue weight rating. Some maximum downward force we'll put here at our receiver tube opening. And it offers a 2,000 pound gross trailer weight rating. So total weight of our trailer and then anything that we load up on it. Of course, we need to look into the owner's manual of the Corolla, see what it's rated for, and we'll go off of whichever of those numbers are the lowest. Now a couple measurements that are going to be helpful in selecting your bike racks or hitch cargo carriers will be from the ground to the inside top edge of a receiver tube opening, we've got about 11 and a quarter inches. Then from the center of our hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of our bumper, it's about five and a quarter. Now we're going to clean out our attachment points here. We're going to have two on the driver's side. You can see they're the two furthest holes back in our frame. We're using a nylon tube brush just to clean out any rust or dirt that might be built up in our threads. This is part number 814092 if you don't have one at home. Now we're ready to raise our hitch up into position here. What we're going to do is take our fasteners. These are M12 bolts with a 1.25 pitch to them. We just need to get these installed through the hitch. You can see we've got our conical tooth washer on there. That needs to face up towards the hitch. Or the teeth of that washer need to face up towards the hitch. We line up our weld nut. We'll thread in our bolt. We'll move over to our other side and install one. Now we'll take a quick look just to be sure we've got our hitch centered with the vehicle. And we can snug those fasteners down, then torque them to the appropriate specification, which we'll find in our instructions. So with all of our fasteners torqued to specification, that's going to complete our installation of the Kurt Custom Fit Class 1 Trailer Hitch Receiver, part number C11265 on our 2009 Toyota Corolla. 